going on everybody? Welcome to another episode of Fung Bros Food! When you're talking about Asian hot pot, there are so many different styles. There's Chinese, Japanese, Vietnamese, Korean, Thai, and so many more because almost every country has its own style of hot pot. But today we're gonna be talking about the trendiest style of hot pot in the entire world right Woo! now! Taiwanese hot pot! And you know we couldn't do this Taiwanese hot pot episode without our Taiwanese fob friend, Crystal! And also joining us today is our Canadian fob friend, YouTube superstar, Linda D. I'm getting some hot pot, eh? Hey guys, where's Richie? He's actually back in Seattle for a wedding, but the show goes on. Let's, Let's go! go. <laughs> He's so fast. You know what I noticed is that at these hot pot spots, like boiling points, uh, it gives them a lot of control because it's like an individualized pot so they can really make it from whatever culture they want. Also, it's important to note that this restaurant is called One on One Hot Pot and it's very basketball themed. Ah! Yo, shout out to my man's Yao Ming. So we just ordered our hot pots, but now it's time for the sauce line. Sauces are really important to hot pot because it's what you're gonna be dipping your meat and your other ingredients into after they've cooked in the pot. We got so many different types of sauces here. We have the sesame, you have the saute sauce, sacha jang, soy sauce, you have bean sauce, chili oil, teriyaki sauce. Yeah, so we didn't slow down the footage. David's actually walking just real slow. Two hours later. Still going, guys. Oh! Hokkaido pumpkin base for the soup. Oh. I got the spicy one. I got mine with extra sacha. Oh. You got that the egg. <laughs> oh, Whoa. okay. Got some fish going on. And now, a lot of people who have hot pot, they have the communal hot pot where you dip raw meat into it. But for this particular spot, they have the meat already cooked. Am I, am I in a steam room right now? This is just... My pores are opening up. Like... <laughs> <laughs> It's actually pretty spicy. Would you say you taste any uh, Taiwanese, Chinese flavors, or is it pretty much Tom Yum? There's definitely like Taiwanese influence in here. I think the thing is about the individual hot pot is that it, the Japanese influence is from Shabu Shabu. Shabu Shabu has individual pots. It's also kind of like sukiyaki, which is when the ingredients are already inside cooking. And that's because Taiwan has a lot of Japanese influence. What are the pros and cons of this versus communal hot pot style? One pro that I see is that in Western culture, people don't necessarily like to share their food. So with this, you get the hot pot experience, but you don't have to share. Yeah, and for me, I don't eat meat, so I don't feel bad that like I don't have to have meat in my pot. With the individual, you don't have to worry about other people like being sick. Definitely agree with the guys with the pro, but I can see one of the cons being with hot pot, hot pot, you kind of think of sharing and talking, really getting to know each other. They were sharing one bowl, right? But I do know that this is the trendier way to eat hot pot. I feel like when I go to the communal hot pot spots, the crowd's a lot older, and as far as yeah. like young trendy people, you always see them at the individual hot pot spots. Ooh, this is one of the hottest fungos we did, man. If you only got 20 minutes and you need to chow down your food, this is not the place to go. You will burn yourself if you try eating 20 minutes. This is pretty good for around 12 bucks. You get like all of this, you're paying for what you want. Instead of everyone else being like, have this, right, have right. this, and you're just like, okay, sure. Like, <laughs> Since Linda and Crystal are here, we gotta ask, how does this spot work as like a first date spot? Yeah, this really tests the guys because it's like, you don't know if they're gonna eat like really nicely or clean, have their spot and everything. Like yeah. if they only eat the meat and leave all the veggies and then they yeah. try to eat your meat, then it's like selfish. Selfish, like a shellfish. <laughs> yeah, it's a good test for our guys because we can't handle a little hot pot, how are you gonna handle meat? Oh! All right, everybody, that was a delicious meal, but what are your major takeaways? Growing up, I know that our family ate communal hot pot a lot together, but when I got older, I realized none of my friends thought it was cool, but now I can see with the individual style, they took care of some of the issues that were preventing kids from trying this like delicious thing, so I just think it's dope that young people are back on hot pot. What's great about these places is that you can just have one person or two people, that you can have your own pot and a good meal. For community hot pot places, you kind of need a big group to make it work. I like how it's old school, and then they're modernizing it, and like bring different cultures. I think it's pretty awesome. Oh my goodness, it is incredibly hot right now in the 626. Let's go get something cold. But we're just not talking about any old boring dessert. We're talking about the most trendy raw organic honey froyo. Let's go. Right now we have the bee. This is real organic fresh honeycomb. The actual honeycomb that the bees were in. 
Wow, that's really good. The honey is so like raw. It melts raw. in your mouth. What? Baby, you like it raw. <laughs> next up, we have the moonlight. My next hair color right here. What would you guys think if a guy took you here on a first date? I would like it. I'm like, this is unique. It's different. It's like not a typical ice cream place. I'll be sold. All right, this is the sawdust. It's dusted with graham cracker dust. At first, you think the sawdust is gonna get in the way and dry everything out, but obviously it doesn't. Yo, Aaron, if you have the sawdust honey ice cream, could you call yourself a worker bee? Baby. Over here, we have a boba-like concoction. You have bobas, you got the pudding. egg pudding, but instead of being inside of like a milk tea, it's organic froyo. That is cold at first. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the boba is really good with the ice cream and the pudding. The pudding is really good. Kind of reminds me of shaved ice. This one's called volcano. The chocolate. The chocolate's more subtle. It's got three different types of chocolate. If one of them was too strong, it would overpower the others. The Snow White is one of the most decadent. It has the uh, coconut shavings on top with the honey and it has the pirouette. I just think it's so cool to see like new different types of stores open up. I believe the original place that had this idea was South Korea and now it's here in the States and it's spreading everywhere. I think it's really cool because actually in Honey Sweet is actually really unique. I think store-bought honey tastes a little bit more like sugar or syrup, but actually the raw honey is a lot more fragrant. It's just the creativity to create something new and it's very simple. There essentially are two ingredients. It's honey and it's froyo. There's so many things out there that people are not thinking of that are very simple. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching that episode of Fun Bros Food. Make sure you let us know what your favorite flavor of Hot Pot is and whether you personally would prefer the communal style or the individual style. The comments below, let us know what your favorite dessert trend is and what you think is coming up next. All right, thanks for watching that video. And until next time, we out. Peace. Stay tuned. Hey, Linda, that was pretty good. Dude, I'm from Vancouver. I picked up some Chinese. Yay, Taiwan! Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. Make sure to subscribe to the Fun Bros and also subscribe to my channel and check out her Instagrams too, Alinity Productions. Make sure to check out that video, this video, this video, and that video. Yeah! Hey Linda, I heard you can speak some Chinese. Yes. Jia Jia Hao, or guys, I'll survive in China. Hey Krista, when did you get the silver hair? Do you like it? Yeah. yeah. Are you, you, try to, you try to be an X man <laughs> Yes, I want to be Storm. That's what I want to be. Hey, I'm Cherry. I'm the owner of Cream Bee. Come find Sissy Olivia. See you guys. Bye.